again, my name is Gabe Zolda. This is the 31st of January, 2019. Yesterday, on the 30th, I posted a total of 15 videos. Went ahead and tried to get a little bit of sleep, but before I drifted off, I turned on the set, watched a little bit of American Hero Channel, AHC, and they showed a rather interesting clip. I tried to Google it. I couldn't find the exact one, but I found one that was somewhat similar. And it was History Counts Presents Robert F. Kennedy. Robert F. Kennedy in full, Robert Francis Kennedy, born November the 20th, 1925, Brooklyn, Massachusetts, died June the 6th, 1968, Los Angeles, California. That's an Encyclopedia Britannica. Title of the video is Who Killed Bobby? The Assassination of Robert Kennedy. Now, in the clip that I saw on AHC, it was extremely well done. They went through a whole lot of pertinent, detailed information. A lot of that's in this video that's attached as well. You might want to invest the amount of time required to watch the clip. It's 28 minutes and 59 seconds. And you're going to see Seren Seren. Now, Seren Seren had an eight shot 22 pistol. On AHC, they had a recording. One of the reporters had a tape recorder that was running, and there's 13 distinct shots that were fired. Not eight, 13. In the video of AHC, when Seren Seren was wrestled to a steam table, he fired six additional shots. Three shots hit Robert Kennedy prior to that event. Well, six and three is nine. How do you have nine shots in an eight-shot revolver? Hmm? Now, what's even more obvious is that Robert Kennedy got three bullets in the back of his head. Three. And Seren Seren was standing in front of Robert Kennedy. In other words, he couldn't have done it. And they showed you clips of Seren Seren when he was wrestled to the ground and arrested. He had that same nobody home look that James Home, the Colorado shooter, had, Jared Lee Lofner, the Tucson shooter, had, and Dylan Roof, the South Carolina shooter, had the no one home look. Now I'm certain that that no one home look was also evident in Mark David Chapman who assassinated John Lennon. And I'm certain that same nobody home look was in James Earls Ray who supposedly assassinated Martin Luther King. As was that same nobody home look in Timothy McVeigh, the Murray Building takedown. Folks, you can't make this stuff up. These individuals were all patsies. They were chosen and selected by who? By the CIA. You also heard me talk about Ronald Reagan, James Hinckley Jr had that same nobody home look. These people were all graduates of the MK Ultra program. They were all brainwashed. Saran Saran can't remember any of the events that took place. I recall seeing one of the other videos on this topic and apparently there was a woman wearing a polka dot dress which was the trigger to set Saran Saran into motion. You can't make this stuff up. There's no doubt in my mind that all of the folks that I mentioned were graduates of MK Ultra. JFK Jr. He was bombed out of the sky on his way to Martha Vineyards. 
JFK Jr. would have been the senator of New York, and he probably would have been president. That's why he was assassinated. Bobby Kennedy was going to end the Vietnam War. He was going to take away the catalyst that the industrial military complex wanted to continue with. That's one of the reasons he was whacked. Again, folks, you can't make this stuff up. John Lennon was whacked. He was a peace activist. He spoke against the Vietnam War. Martin Luther King was whacked when he spoke about I had a dream and he was nominated for an award, a peace award. Every one of these individuals that was whacked was whacked for a reason. They wanted to kill Ronald Reagan so George H.W. Bush could become president sooner than he became president. Timothy McVeigh was again a patsy. They took down the Murray building because it had all the documents that were being investigated over Whitewater. James Holmes, Jared Lafner, and Dylan Roof were all patsies to take away our Second Amendment rights. You don't want to hear it. Don't listen. Watch the clip. How do you have 13 shots fired out of an 8-shot revolver? Hmm? The CIA is a criminal organization and it has been for a very, very long time. You want to pass this one along to your like-minded friends? You want to repost this in all your social media accounts? Videos like this that I put up put me directly into the line of fire. I don't care. I care about the truth being known. Thanks for listening. Watch the video. Pass it along. I can't do this alone. I need you, but you all also need me.